So last time I talked to you guys, if you recall, I was cooking a big elk roast. And we're gonna try to see how this thing uh, turned out. Looks good. Got a lot of juice coming out of the inside of it. Not too bad. Turned out pretty good. Got a nice smoke ring on it, juicy. It's late, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I just hit the grocery store and the gas station and I'm rolling to a shed spot. I do way better driving at night and I can get up like at eight in the morning, which is kind of like pretty early for me. Start hitting the hills right as soon as I get there. I like that way better than getting up super early and driving in the morning. I do better at night, so turn on some podcasts, listen to them, hit the road. So I slept in the back of the truck. The reason I sleep in the back of the truck when it's way cold like this is twofold. One, I'm a baby. I hate getting into bed when it's cold and I hate getting out of bed when it's cold. Two, I just told you both the reasons in the first one. This is how I sleep, like this. I sleep good. People think I'm crazy because this is a little Toyota Tundra and uh, I'm 6'4". The morning I just reach over, flip on the heater, it gets toasty in here, I get up, head down the road. So it's about 7.30 now. Time to get up, get after it, go pound the hills and pick up them bones. You guys, I started screaming. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it looks like a good shed. Yes, I've only been walking for maybe 25 minutes. Now I see one, I think they're everywhere, but it's got a good back end and some good mass. You see it right there. Yes. Bam, get it. Dang! Yes! Just barely into this walk. Got a long beam, heavy front end, busted sword. Really similar, to, look at that second point. Really similar to that bull I picked up out here last time. I'm gonna pick it up on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Hard whitey. Look at the front end on that thing. That second point is so long. You guys, I have to say, I could have never done it without this new pattern. This shed never saw me coming. I was able to get within range. I had no clue I was here. People ask me why I wear camo when I shed hunt. Well, there's the result. I mean, you think that would have happened without me wearing camo? I don't think so. Woo! Let's go get some more. Well, that's sucky. So, I've been hiking for a few hours. A while back, I took off my sweatshirt, put it on my pack. I go to sit down. It's not there anymore. This sweatshirt is the very first run of Scree's new pattern. I've owned it for uh, 14 hours. And it's somewhere in the last six miles. Now let me tell you another story. Last time I got a brand new shirt from Scree, it was from their first production run of their old pattern. I lost that one doing the exact same thing about a mile north of here. So, if you guys find Scree sweatshirts laying around, you know where I'm at. I guess, I don't know if it's because they're slick and they don't stay on my pack. I've never lost any other sweatshirt but those off my pack, so. That's pretty cool. I tried backtracking and I seriously have covered miles. So it looks like I'm gonna go buy a new sweatshirt. 
whatever. And then to add insult to injury, I ditched my pack over here when I went and looked for it. I was backtracking myself, clear on the ridge. And I got back here and I didn't think I was quite down to where my pack was and I saw the tines on the top of this and thought I found a big shed, but it was just my pack with the one elk shed strapped on it, so. Double whammy. Guys, I think I got my other side from last time I was out here. This is what I came out for, it was a big, heavy, Man, it's all busted up. I wonder if it's him or not. So, last time I was out here, me and Troy hit the spot right at dark, and I picked up a big, heavy side that was busted on the sword, had a big third on it. I think this is his other half right here. It's a big, heavy bowl, like got a lot of, a lot of mass, but just chalker and kind of old. Still though, that's a, and get out of it. That's a cool shed. Oh, that bowl would have been something special. Oh, he's got a bunch of really wide palmation right there and really a uh, heavy shed. Maybe there'll be some more. After taking a minute looking at that shed, I think it could be the same bowl and the same year probably. I think it's his other side. Cause the side I picked up last week out here was really shaded and uh, it was still had hardly any cracking on it. It was pretty hard white. And this one was in the wide open. The back side of it still has good color. The coloration's the same, the markings the same, the curvature of the beams are the same. It's the opposite side. It could be another year off the same bowl, but I think it's his other side. I'm still gonna check this place out a little more and see what there is because uh, I'd like to get another, if I could pick up just like maybe 30 more today, that'd be cool. There we go. Seems like that's the way this country goes. Walk a lot. If you put in the miles, you'll eventually come across one. That one's in pretty decent shape, actually. That's a good little hard white. Number four for the day. Time to restrap the pack. These are the times when it gets tough to stay motivated. Out here in the middle of nowhere by myself, kind of wind burned, lost my sweatshirt. Rest in peace, little guy. I got about two hours until it gets dark and I'm having the hardest time making myself get out of the truck and go hit it for two hours. I'm just tired, it's been a long day. It's like really tempting. Crawl back in that thing right there and just take a nap. I'm gonna go hit it. I'm gonna go hit it, cause I know I'll regret it if I don't. That's why you never give up right there. Well, okay. I probably should have gave up because I just put it another three miles and didn't pick up anything. It's about dark. I'm dang cold. But I had a good day overall. I'm gonna go see if I can find some service. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go upload a video. But overall, pretty good day. Anytime I pick up a handful, I'm not gonna complain about it. So I'm gonna go find some service and maybe a hot dog for dinner. That sounds good. Thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. I just want to, uh, I want to dedicate this episode to the loving memory of my sweatshirt. Wherever he is, cold tonight. And the one I lost out here last year. Rest in peace, guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you do me a favor, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Like, comment, all that stuff. And also, thanks for all the smoker recipes. Seriously, I've been wandering around all day thinking about stuff to just cook on my camp chef. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Peace